All right, hello there. Welcome to Tuck in Cash. I hope you're all doing well. So today we have another exciting match from the Stratulated Mannequin Mayhem Cup Round Two. So what games do we have here, Chop? Yeah, congratulations. Firstly, on absolutely nailing that pronunciation. You're Very welcome. You. Yes. Um, but yeah, no, we're we're, we're here with uh, the Vim and Heartseed. Um, so I sorry I got distracted there by what Heartseed was writing in in the little chat box. Um, but yeah, we got two very experienced opponents versing each other, um, and it should be a very very good match um, in this best of three encounter between the two of them. Yeah, I, I'm definitely looking forward to this. Both of them are very good player. They've been with the server for very long, so this is definitely the match to to watch. It is. It is. It's uh. It's definitely an early, big, big match. Like either of these two could be theoretically in the final, and um, to to knock one of them out is it, this early is is quite important. So yeah, I I, I mean I mean that's that's how the bracket are usually done is random. So sometimes you get like, you know, some of the top tier players playing early in the in the bracket, but that's just how it is. Yeah, well, remember, if you remember, this one wasn't random because this one was a two-stage tournament, so we had a group stage to start with. Um, and then from that, the te teams that got second and third versed each other and then came into the first. So uh, Devim got second in his group versed Heartseed in round one and then is... Uh, sorry, versed Hill Partridge in round one and then beat Hill Partridge and now in heart versing Heartseed, who finished first in his group um and then got the buy-in round one of the of the knockout stage yeah thanks for remind reminding me that that's correct we have two stage and this is the second stage all right i think we're almost gonna get started but before that i just want to give a shout out to lc um they prepare a very very fun bingo for us for today's stream so watch out for that i'm gonna queue the bingo from time to time it's gonna be fun but yeah, I, I think the players can get started if they're ready. Alrighty. Good luck to both of you. Oh, look at this. Isn't this, look at this. just a classic Devim game? Come on. Come on. Wood duck. He loves the wood duck. I reckon more than any other bird. Yeah. Any other bird. I I, I don't think um, I really I really like this setup with a robin as well. This is a dream. Yeah, exactly. I I think the Vim is just screaming on his screen right now in excitement. Yep. It's it's giddy excitement. It's like a little kid about to get chocolate ice cream. You know, like this is like <laughs> yeah, the the yeah, giggly yeah, laugh. Amazing. I I can totally imagine that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even even like um maybe Despicable Me. Like it's so fluffy. You know, like just. <laughs> oh wow! If 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 I have to pick someone with the most experience with Wood Duck, it gotta be Devim here. So. And I, I can't see them doing anything other than putting the robin first and then the wood duck second, right? Yeah. Um, and and the bird feeder has a healthy amount of food, so I mean healthy amount ooh. of grain. I, I'm surprised he's considering this bobwhite. I thought it was really clear, like um, the two birds, one cherry, one slug, one grain. Use the slug to get the robin down, pick up a grain, um, and then you know, eggs, wood duck, and you just set. Yeah, I mean, that's what he's ended up doing. So yeah. I would have been surprised if you mixed it up too much there. Yeah. All right, look at heart seat here. I mean, pretty solid start as well. So you have the yeah. hawk in the forest and the sandpiper in the wetlands. So um, an omnivore, look at Ooh, that. Omnivore. You always like to see a tier A bonus card when you start a game. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I don't mind wetland scientist either, but like you would, I would take hot omnivore every time. Yeah, but of course, um, the Vim also have the Ulogis, which is also tier A, so mm. pretty head to head. I mean, the the spotted sandpiper can be a good counter to wood duck, you know. Um, 
I, I won't say exactly, I yeah. What do you think? The reason I say I don't know, like, yes to, um, like, the uh, kill goal, but not as much to Wood Duck because um, getting extra cards when you get the Wood Duck gives you more flexibility because the Wood Duck is good, but having to, dis if you draw two nice cards and having to discard one of them, it can be a bit annoying and a bit slow, and if you're getting some extra cards that you can just discard instead of, um, it'd make it a lot stronger. Yeah, I, I mean, I totally agree. Um, it's interesting that Harsey kept the Goldfinch, um, but they did not keep any seeds, so I wonder what their plan is. Yeah, I agree. I think that's, that was just a bit of um, thought towards the first end of round goal without much other thought towards it, so... Yeah, that can um, be it. Be... I actually don't mind this, like, red-bellied woodpecker for, um... Devim that popped up in the trade when the when the Ren was taken as well. For sure, but I, I think Heartseed definitely is looking into picking that up. It's a tier A forest bird. Yeah, there you oh. go. Ooh, yeah, they were definitely hoping for some grassland and wetland bird here. I don't think the mm. the turnager he's is good. No, no, not at all. Yeah. I think that um I, I'm really surprised, like you said, that the goldfinch was kept when um, Heartseed's plan was to go with the um, Carolina Wren there, um, because you probably could have used that extra bit of food when you were already going to get a couple of extra cards just by playing that bird. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, gold, goldfinch is interesting, but like you say, maybe they are looking at the end of round go. And here's the thing, the end of round goals are pretty ace heavy. And if the Vim is going with Wood Duck, um, they won't have a Grassland until later. And it also depends on their card draws. Sure. So if Harsey can build up a good Grassland, um, they can catch up quite a bit with um, with a Grassland engine to win the end of round go. Yeah. I definitely agree with that. Do you know, I, I, I have a feeling mm -hmm. that Tavim is going to pick up a pelleted woodpecker pretty quickly. Um, <laughs> just knowing, just knowing know. Tavim Lux. Just, yeah, Tavim, Tavim is one of the luckiest players. Yeah, I mean, Everyone yeah. talks about how good he is, he's actually just really lucky. Yeah, he would <laughs> definitely be in, you know, some happy yeah, land. <laughs> the happiest man. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean... I mean, another thing to, to, to think about is, you know, Wood Duck is nice, but you are also always at the mercy of the deck. If if they cannot draw the birds that they need, um, oh, look at this, though. it's going to be tough. But yeah, the the, the quail is nice here. Um, quail's so good. The quail's great for like the first and the last end of round. Um, I'm pretty sure you ditch the canvas back. As much as the canvas back is... Nice. I think the scaled quail just being able to compete for that first end round of goal is, is, is too important. Yep. And usually when I play a wood duck game, I I think the best strategy I mean if if you're lucky and get all the big point birds, then for sure that's great. But what I found was really helpful is using the wood duck to find all your grassland engine and then pivot to grassland mm -hmm. for mid and late game is usually um, more effective. Um, yeah, I agree. And I've been finding the same thing with like a full tuck strategy. I kind of end up only going like half full tuck. I get all the cards I want, get a good thing, and then pivot to the grasslands um, with laying a whole of the birds down. Um, I think you, in this um, base game, and even with the EE expansion, you still need to pivot generally to, to the grasslands to, to finish strong. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, the, look at the this. swallow. Oh, what a dream. You see here, He's already got the food to do it as well. Like Yeah. I mean here's the interesting interesting turning point, right? Like is the Vim gonna keep going with their forest engine or they're gonna play the quill and swallow in the grassland and set it up for late game? Are they gonna go all in yeah. or late game? I mean with the swallow and quill in the grassland, that's a five points engine already in round one. So yeah. it's very so tempting. Do you think that the difference like when you were making that decision do you think it's purely because of these end of round goals like that third end of round goal with the sets i think would lean me towards pivoting pretty quickly to to a grassland 
um, when you don't have any egg laying bird in your forest there? Yeah, I, 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 I think Anna Franco, I definitely take that into consideration, but I don't know in general, my heart is just leaning um, for um, grassland in this case, because even with the swallow in the forest, it's a two point engine. Um, in in the grassland is five points, so yeah, it's just that much it's better. Like when you break it down like that, it does just make it really clear, doesn't it? Yeah, you you have to you have to use the forest like twice to make up for like grassland just one activation. So, yeah. But, Another point, like these end of round goals are all egg based end of round goals. So like again, making a grassland thing just becomes so much stronger, doesn't it? Yep. All right, we have... Oh, look at this. Oh, the oh, tight is yeah. turning. Tight is turning. All Come right. I, I think that's what Heartseed needed. Like, they really need that kill deer yeah. here to make a pivot. Um, and it's nice that they have you know a what? nice Do forest setup. <laughs> Good work, Heartseed. Good work. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I agree with you. This 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 definitely changes things, Um, like you said, for the fact that they already have a like an okay forest setup um and being able to get this down if they can get a tuck and lay bird hoo -hoo, game on you know yeah i mean yeah it, it was pretty unbalanced for round one but i i think heart seed like bring themselves back again with that kill deer here um and you can see the vim is not really drawing better card now but they can always use the swallow i guess I'm I'm surprised that he kept the blackbird there over the play an extra card bird. I probably would have lent towards the other one. Um, I'm assuming he's just trying to think of keeping a a water bird. But if he wanted that, I'm surprised he didn't pick up the grebe. So yeah, the grebe is nice too with the star. And as I'm surprised no one picked it. Oh look at this! This is gonna be an interesting turning point for oh. the Vim here. They're going in with the forest and giving up on the grassland engine. Um, they're, they're I, don't, I don't like this. Yeah, it, it's risky. Like their end of round go is on the table and may, okay. Here's okay, another thing. Because of what you were saying. Just yeah. because of what you were saying, like I, th I think that you made a really good point that the five-point engine, just purely five-point engine versus two-point engine, like it's not even close. Yeah, I, I I think you know part of it is psychology, right? Because the Vim didn't know that Heartseat has a kill deer, so he was probably thinking he was in a pretty good position. Um, but now they are definitely. I would be sweating a little bit um, in the Vim position here, looking at the kill deer and the end of round go. Do, do you think he's joking? <laughs> I don't think so. The Vim is a very serious player here. Oh, choking! I thought you say joking. Um, yeah. No, 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 choking, choking. Yeah, not yet. I mean, look at this. They they got the quill, so that is another great addition to their forest. But again, the, the end of round goal is a lot of points to miss. But the thing is, though, they just yeah, they I like I said, if 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 somehow Heartseed can nab one of those like tuck and lays, this game, this game's open. open yeah, season. I mean, Heartseed is definitely you know needing more Grassland Engine Bird here. Um, so we'll see if they can draw any. Mm. I'm assuming they're going to try and get that Kestrel down. Um, as much as it's not the greatest bird, um, it is good for um, this end of round goal and just to get that third bird going. Um, and you might get lucky. You might get the odd cash. Oh, did they get the Barn Swallow and the Fish Crow as well? They did. Oh, I. Victor they did. It, the Vim card draw has been really great this game. Oh, that yeah. I guess they they have quite a bit of food, so they they can give up the. Again, how long are they gonna go with this forest engine? I guess they can go for a little bit. Surely you just put the barn swallow down now in the, in the grasslands. Yeah, I mean that's where it, it, it only makes sense. No way is going to the wetlands, so. But like, I would be doing it now. Just getting it down. You've got, and then start. I'd probably even tuck the quail and start using that. See, see what happens. But yeah. 
Yeah, they're, they're definitely- Are you surprised? Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, you go ahead. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised no one's picked up the grape. I, I, I am a little bit. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, they're both looking for that grassland engine bird. Maybe that's why it get overlooked. I can see that. Um, and then the Vim is exactly in the situation that you just talked about earlier, where when you have Wood Duck, you can actually be pretty tight on cards. Like, they they only have two cards, and that's not good, not enough card to, like, tug and run the engine, because, you know, ideally, those are the cards they want to play. Um, so, yeah, it, it was smart that um, Heartseed denied them that card early, early on. Agreed, agreed. Um, and I'm glad that he saw sense then and, and, and tucked away that Californian quail as well. Yep. All right. Still lots of good um, tuck and lay birds that we haven't seen. So Harsey just need to draw one of those. Nice. Hummingbird is very nice. Oh, I like that. Oh, don't. Yeah, I think he got sucked in with the cracker just because it was omnivore then. Yeah. But yeah, the hummingbird, hummingbird is nice, especially given the amount of food that... Um, the Vim already Vim accumulate, great. and they're going to run the forest for quite a few turns. Like I say, because they just they just gain one card um, with one run. They need a lot of cards. Yeah, don't you don't you think that this engine grassland engine would look so nice if that swallow was down there? Oh, absolutely. With the barn swallow, like if they had the back to back barn swallow into the quail. I think absolutely. I, I, I think the, the swallow there, yeah, I, I, I think it was more problem than, you know, helping them. They have to they have to skip a tuck just now. I saw that. That was not ideal. Um, and again, they still continue to be very tight on card. Um, they definitely want to play the great egret to turn their food into points, but they're only gaining one card at a time. That's hard. It's going to be interesting because I have a feeling like they're going to play the Egret into the Adversate. But then, going, like you said, they're going to then lose all their cards. Yeah, I, I don't I, I don't really like the Egret in this case, but um, we'll just see. doesn't have the card draw to be able to um, do a double play. Yeah, and they, they still need to have one card left at the end to run their engine. So, and... I mean, they are lucky that Heartseed doesn't have a great grassland engine going right now. So, the Vim Forest is a two points engine, but um, Heartseed is about two points as well after they spend the egg for kill deer. So, they are pretty equal. Yeah. All right, looks like Heartseed is not pivoting to Hummingbird. Um, mm, honestly, I shame. would have, but yeah. Yeah, I, I would have as well. I, I, I think, and, and I have 100% been um, suckered into this before, where you just look at your bonus card and you're like, Omnivore, I'm going to pick up every bird that fits this, and I'm going to try and get it down. Yeah. But at the same time, Heartseat has the Wood Stork and the Purple Galenew to play, so that's a lot of food. So, yeah, maybe maybe they, they do need the Grassland. Oh, look at this. The Vim going all in with the pink power here yeah and to be honest it is it is pretty smart but I, I think this does set it up a little bit for um heart C to continue doing their high food lay down big birds with the omnivore strategy that they they were going with yeah i i, I think that's right that's that's a really good call oh poor cowbird um got tug but yeah look at this again the Vim is going to skip their Swallow again, so that Swallow is just so awkward in the forest. Yeah, I really thought that they might have just tucked it rather than gone oh, to this. Yeah. They still have one card, sorry, I did not see that. Yeah. But again, look at this, their Grassland is missing that critical like third, fourth, third Grassland bird there, so... Um, mm. I think I, I still think they should have gone with Grassland Swallow there. I agree. I agree. Definitely going to be a good game to to look back on um, for for Devim. Yeah, and they're going really fast here, which is nice. Which is odd. 
It's odd for the Vim as well, right? The Vim <laughs> normally plays a lot more measured. I, I think the Vim uh, usually normally always does the math. They 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 usually play pretty fast in early game, but they they really slow down when they start calculating in the end. But also again, this is like you know the Vim territory or expertise with the wood duck here, so it makes sense that they're playing playing pretty fast. Yeah, we're we're definitely going to criticize him, and he's still going to bust out a hundred points. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. All right, so, uh, yeah. What do you think about this hummingbird? Do you, I, if it was me, I'd be playing the hummingbird in the grasslands, wouldn't you? Yeah, I I think Heartseeds still need the hummingbird, um, because look at the food that they have now. That's not enough to play all the bird that they want, but they also don't want to go back to the forest. So I I think hummingbird play here is still critical. Yeah, I, I'm I'm actually surprised. I don't know if you noticed it in their last turn. They they took both the wheat rather than cashing either of them on the nutcracker or the woodpecker. Mm -hmm. Um, and I and I probably would have started looking at taking some of those points. Um, I thought they already had enough food to be able to do what they wanted to do along with then getting a little bit of food out of the hummingbird. Yeah. So I was a little surprised. Yeah, it, it is a little bit. Um, I, I guess they can always turn the extra food into eggs. Um, so yep. they, they yeah, so they have that option. All right, we have a standstill here. Is it a time bug or? No, I think they're both just... All right, maybe it's time to look at our bingo here. Hey, bingo! What do we have here, Elsie? Do we have an update for our bingo here? And everyone get a chance to look at what we have up on here. All right, Elsie, I'm gonna let you update and then let me know, and I'll pull this up again. Just so while you're flicking a bingo, guess what? Mr. Luckbox, the Vim pulls. Wow! He pulled it and he discarded it. He had the house finch. I saw the he house finch. It. I saw the house finch. Um, Why did he discard the house finch? I, I think they're going for I the big understand. points. Um, they're, they're gambling the on... The house finch is so good. Yeah, I, I mean, it's very tempting. It is three points. Yeah, I, I can see it works, but at the same time... I don't know. Yeah, we, we can ask we can ask the Vim after the game. Yeah, the Vim, the Vim card draw has been pretty OP this game, so... I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I like the two bonus cards they've kept. Uh, um, and then, but I don't think he... I don't know that he's going to go full uh, pink power with the Kaku as well. I mean, possibly... Oh, look at this. So, nice. Got the Forester, so... Heartseat Wobbler is going to worth a lot of points, like 10 points or something. So I, I like how you didn't even call it the Hooded Wobbler. You called it the Heartseed Wobbler because it's going <laughs> to score them, score them so many points. It's now the Heartseed Wobbler. Oh, yeah, the Heartseed Wobbler. Um, but yeah, yeah. I think going full full on with the Cuckoo is not a bad idea because like, what else is um, Heartseed going to do if not laying eggs in late game? So. Yeah, uh, all right. They just, I just feel like they've they've thrown away like a eight point engine by going different ways. Now, look, they wouldn't have known that they would have had such a nice draw, but I mean, and they've already tucked the cuckoo. There you go. <laughs> yeah. All right. The this okay. I I think I I see what what the Vim is thinking right now. Um, they are definitely counting on Heartseat giving them food to play. The two bonus card and then just lay a grassland for the rest of the game so i i i can totally read the vim here i think they're done with their forest it's like the meme i don't want to play with you anymore <laughs> take my ball <laughs> and i'm going home yeah. <laughs> all right let's see um yeah all this food i mean yeah, I, I I think that's what the Vim going for. That they they're, they're just gonna count on food from hot seed and play their grassland. All right, looks like we are slowing down a little bit. Let's let's take a little bit of sneak peek on the bingo again. Um, still no update. Um, 
I um, think I saw in the chat that Elsie say that it might have broken. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I, I see it now. Let's let's look at our bingo. So what do we have here? Chop say a bird name wrong. Do you remember which bird name? Oh. <laughs> How many? Uh, was it the kaku or the cuckoo? Um, <laughs> Probably one of those. I mean, you know, who knows? Who knows? I mean, I didn't say that heart seed warbler, but you know, whatever. <laughs> and then what else? We have an awkward silence. I, I, I do not remember that. Our commentary was pretty on point this game. So, yeah, that's just, that's just Elsie being mean. You know, all right, meanest person out there, Elsie. What else do you have? What do you think about that? Well, yes, chat is ignored for a significant time. I mean, I, I have to agree with that. I mean, it just yeah, we barely look chat. It's just hard to keep up with uh, the chat when you're commentating, but yeah. winging it is on the chat, so I'm I'm sure winging it is bringing all the engagement here. So yeah, so the chat saying that I mispronounced um, piloted woodpecker, piloted pilloted. I don't know. Who knows? Piloted. Say stuff, you, you're just doing it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Do we have what do we have going on here? Wait. It, it, was that Harsey going to the forest? It was, it was. Ooh, that's interesting. The thing is, they don't even need cache, that many cache, fruit. Cache. Yeah, they got a cache, cache. here. I, I don't think, by the way, Chop, I don't think it's pronounced cache. Um, I think I can pronounce it either way. Uh, but no, right. it's not. It's pronounced cash. I, I did actually look it up to try and defend myself <laughs> the other day, and um, I was wrong. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't don't mean to call you all on life, but <laughs> I try to I try to say it quietly. Yeah, yeah, just quietly on stream in front of everyone. Thanks, thanks, mate. Appreciate you're, it. You're welcome. You know, all right, what what does <laughs> what does the Vim has here? The the birth feeder, nice works well with this bonus card that they're <clears> going to put <throat> next. Yeah. So... I know we have a very, very... So, um, <laughs> sorry, Tayro, there's a special request in the chat uh, for you to pronounce the uh, Baltimore Oriole. Baltimore Oriole. How about that? <laughs> You said Oreo like the cookie. <laughs> that that's how it sounds in my mind. So I, that's how I'm gonna say it. All right, all right. There you go. You got the Baltimore Oreo. It's this the Baltimore version of the cookie. All and right. It has nothing to do with the bird. The, <laughs> all right. Welcome to ASMR time. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna pronounce the greater great greater prairie chicken. <laughs> yes, you did it. You did it. <laughs> I hope winging it is happy now. All right. See, we we are reading the chat, so yeah, yeah, and, and we we completely stop watching the game. What's going on? <laughs> I mean, I think it's just them doing their thing, playing game, and it, it's it's kind of interesting because like Harsey went to the forest, but they also used the hummingbird. So I'm a little bit confused here. Um, why did they go to the forest in the first place? Yeah, I'm not sure. Hey, it's, it is it is confusing. However, this this uh, Kestrel two uh, two cached points. Uh, I would also like to bring your attention to one of your stupid conspiracy theories around <laughs> the roll dice. That just rolled four dice and was successful, and multiple times it's rolled one and has been unsuccessful. That was just an closed. That was just anomaly, whatever. Even it, okay, look at this. A, another great bonus card seems like for the Vim here. So Falconer and what's the second one? I can't read. Uh, Passerine specialist. It's the small bird. Is um, it both zero? I can. They're both zero. I, I I mean, I think you take the falconer. Yeah. Just you never know if you just you you, you tuck with his tuck, uh, and he gets a um, with some free food. He gets something. All right. I mean. Oh, he's thinking about skipping. He skipped. He skipped the bonus card. 
Yeah, I think he learned that from Flan. You know. <laughs> I don't like that. I like I I as much as you get a little bit annoyed. I, I, I take the Falconer. You never know with the free food that you're getting. I mean, it is the second last turn, but and they um, have they have it's a. It's not like a stats. Yeah. Go ahead. I mean, they have a six point engine going, so even the Falconer, gonna be pretty hard to beat unless they have a lot of food and get the Golden Eagle or something. So yeah, it's fair. But yeah, like you say, I'll I'll, I'll still pick up whatever card that I have. Um. Yeah. S s yeah, and uh, I wanted to say something, I, but I totally forgot because I was reading chat. You see, it, it, it's hard to keep up. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, yes, while we we had a pretty bad history of calling games, but how do you feel about this game? Yeah, I, I feel like this is um, Vim's game. As much as I've disagreed with a few of the plays that they've done, uh, um, I think that they've comfortably got this. Um, you know, they've got nine points in bonus cards um, compared to, which is a little bit behind, but not a lot. Uh, um, uh, I think they've just... That 16 tucked cards is, is pretty nice. Um yeah, they've also won basically every end of round goal, um, which is again pretty strong. Um, I just, I, I actually don't even see this being that close, to be honest. Yeah, I, I kind of have to agree there. Um, I mean, Heartseed does have very strong bonus card with their fours, maximize Forester and Omnivore, so it, it Heartseed is still is still gonna score pretty well. Um, I guess one last thing I want to mention is, you know, looking back again with hindsight, um, Devin played that long spur and did not get any bonus uh, point, and that was that means that was a three points play. Um, they would have better off um, keeping that house finch, and they would have scored, you know, definitely more points with that house finch. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Um, I think they could have had a really, really nice tucking engine through there. Um, and they just didn't. Um, but yeah, I, I, I actually think this is going to be like 15 points is my prediction. What about yourself? Yeah, 10, 10 15 sounds about right. Um, I, I still think Harsey is going to be in the 90s, so it's, it's still going to be a pretty, pretty, pretty good yeah, show. Look at this. All right. Hard scene ended up only having nine eggs to spy that egg laying engine. Yeah, that was eighty four. Eighty four, just short of one hundred and twelve. Wow, that's like more than twenty points, almost thirty points there. Yeah, twenty eight point, twenty eight point win there. Um, I might just unmute these two, see if they want to say anything before they um uh, go on to the next match. Hard seed to Vim. Um, well done on getting the first game done. Did you did you want to say anything before we? Move into game two. Uh, no, that's fine. Yeah. Goodness. You game. okay, hard seed? You, you, yeah, you seem it okay. happens to everyone. <laughs> it it's no, hard it against the wood duck. I think you play your best game here. So, I I think I did mess up early game a little bit, but yeah, later on I kind of got back to it, but it was kind of too late. So yeah. Yeah, you just needed. Um, unfortunately, it was Devim that was picking up all the tucking birds, so you just couldn't really use them a lot um, yeah. for the... the I, I guess um, I could have drawn building. blind with a kill deer if I was like, oh, well, I'm going to lose anyway, so let's see what I can get, but, you know, yeah. Yeah, unlucky. But the, the joy of um, the joy of this tournament and the knockout stage is that you're not dead. You know, you come back, you destroy oh. Vim on this game, and it's back to a, you know, we we have a third game on our hands. So, yeah. uh, I, I wish Perhaps. you all the best in the second game. Exactly. Okay, yeah. All the best. Okay. Thank you. All right. Come on, family. I, I don't, I think the Vim is being shy here. I, I really wanted to ask them why they took the house finch, but I guess we can always do it after the game. Yeah, yeah. The Vim, the Vim doesn't like... Simon doesn't like talking, you know. Yeah, so mysterious. All right, look so like so mysterious. Someone dropped the stream or, or something. Let me. That was that was Simon. Okay. So, uh, if you can hear us, Simon, we we need you to bring your your stream back up. I think they were posting the submission 
of the thing. I think they maybe got yeah. distracted or something along those lines. Well, meanwhile, we have the bingo here. I, I don't think bingo. that was... Yeah, we have the bingo here. Commentator get distracted. I, I'm kind of curious, what did we get distracted on? I, I thought we were pretty focused on the game the whole time. All right. Do we have the games back on? I've just asked. Yeah. Uh, um, do we have any promo that we need to do in the meantime for the server? We, we do have another live stream, um, which I think will be probably happening on the Discord channel rather than over YouTube um, for Scared of Birds versus G Trudet. Uh, we currently have planned commentating that and the, the second commentator sort of to be advised. Um, but that's going to be very, very exciting. Uh, uh, should be a really good match. Yeah, absolutely. All right, looks like they are starting second game here anytime. Uh, so we've actually just had a message from Simon asking just for a quick 10 minute break. Okay. All right. We're going to commercial. commercial. All right, let's start some music for the stream. Yeah, kick up the music, and we'll give um, give Simon a a bit of a break. And we, look, let's let's just have a bit of a chat about about Simon's game or Devim. Uh, I I don't think that I think the only issue that I had was that um, Violet Swallow up in the grasslands. I just don't think it really did a lot. They ended up, because they were only getting one card, they ended up not really tucking through that a lot because they needed that second card. Mm -hmm. um, so it just didn't get as much action as it, as it could have. Um, and they didn't weren't discarding cards to get extra food. They never played that fourth bird. Um, so it was, it was a little odd. Um, I mean, yeah, look, you, you don't really expect to get that many tucking birds in one game, but yeah. they did. It, it was definitely risky going with the swallow in the forest. I mean, look at that. Like, at the end, if they did not draw that barn swallow, they would have no engine in the grassland. So the, yeah. the, barn, the barn swallow saved their grassland engine after they play um, their purple swallow in the forest. So, yeah, I agree. I, I, I think that, that that purple that purple <laughs> that that violet green violet swallow green. swallow in yeah. the in the forest was was a risky play i mean i mean sometimes that happens right because yeah when when you have the wood duck going like you know your mind is like ooh forest engine so you you kind of make a snap decision the same thing with full tug once you're in it you you kind of be like oh i got to go all in um so sometimes it make you kind of overlook other options. Yeah, and I think that um, Mother Love made a, a good point in the chat, which which I, is what I was making at the start of the game. That you know, when they played the Tucking Bird before the um, Wood Duck, it's so nice because you're getting two cards. You can tuck one and then discard one. But when you've got one after it, you've already have to discard it. You don't get to use it as much. And uh, yeah. It just it just didn't flow for me, but you can you could have if you if we would have seen it we would have seen that um, quail, uh, the violet green swallow, the barn swallow, the house finch. That that is a eight point engine. Like that's amazing. Yeah, that that would have a really great engine. So, <clears throat> all right, I think I I myself might need. You know, two minutes break or something like that. I have some music going for everyone watching, so yeah, be right back. All right, thanks, Terry. Um, does anyone in the chat have any questions for me? any questions happy to answer them um, I like the fact that we um, have renamed the hooded warbler the heart seed warbler that was good fun during that match
like I said before, we're going to have another really good match. Not too long after these ones, depending whether this goes for two games or three games. Um, and then go from there. So... Ah, oh, apparently, um, Tay Ray, surprise, surprise, has left the music up too loud, so now I have to actually be really loud. Um, striolated, uh, I actually don't know what it means. I, I'm assuming it has to do with the, the, the colors of the bird, but it's just the name of the actual bird. Um, we can, we can Google that though. It could be, it could be a fun... Uh, All right, later. I'm back. Um, so, Tayray, we've had some we've had some requests that the music is too loud. All right, I I already kind of turned it down a little bit. Um, just let me know if it's still too loud. Okay, so um, there's also been a question about what does striolated mean? No, now striolate uh, means having striole. Striole is a faint or minute stria, uh, and stria is a line or a stripe. So there you go. It's um, having small um, stripes, uh, which, as you can see, when that that photo of the striated mannequin comes up, he does have little tiny stripes. Yeah, when when I look it up, um, seems like the word is pretty exclusively used for birds. I might be wrong, but when I search for it, most of the um, search that comes out uh, birds related. Yeah, and it probably is um, used for that more. Uh, are we happy for Devim to send the invite for game two? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, invite's been sent. Um, good luck to both of you. Um... Let's. I, I am a hundred percent rooting for for Heartseed in this one. Okay. I want to. I want to see. I want to see game three. Um. I don't think anyone wants to go out after like just getting kind of destroyed by th um close to thirty points in that first one. So definitely, definitely backing my friend here in in Heartseed to to bounce back in this one. Yeah, totally agree. Definitely rooting for Heartseed for this game. So who is starting this game? Heartseed. All right, here we go. Heartseed. Heartseed. Okay, bit rough. Um, oh, Elsie's bird, <laughs> black chinned hummingbird, one of her absolute favorites. That should be in the bingo. Yeah, and yeah, it not no obvious tier A bird here, so that's a bit unfortunate. Mm. But I I think they can make it work. I wonder if Harsey is going to go with the Swallow Migratory Bird. Um, they kind of like it. I th yeah, I think that I'd be doing that. I'd, I'd probably be leaning towards taking nothing and going the the Swallow. Um, and then trying to pick up the Hawk uh, as a bit of a food option. But just going just the Swallow and then taking four lots of food here um, is probably where I'd be leaning to. What, what about you? What would you be taking out of these five? Yeah, I'm I'm tempted to go with hummingbird and the migratory bird. It's interesting they they kept the second. Oh, I think they're going for um probably playing it with the hawk. hawk? Yeah, so hummingbird in yeah. the oh, wetland. What the hell is this? Um, sorry, sorry, Tyree. What the hell? Can this we? This is not fair. I'm I'm and bird counter. All right, conspiracy time. Welcome to conspiracy time. I I'm telling How you, you think I think monster is a source code. I'm okay. Let me put this out there. I think monster couch coding definitely has some bug. Like I have seen this happen all the time. Like the same bird just showing in back to back game. So they mess yeah, up the hunting. Not, that's not random work. No, they. This is you, your conspiracies are just unfounded and not true. They, there they, is no science behind them they whatsoever. Me they mess up the coding for the hunting. They mess up the coding for randomizing the deck. I'm telling you. 
No, I just put this down to blatant cheating from Divim. I think he's cheating. <laughs> well, I, I think he's like editing coding in the game. That's even worse um, accusation than mine. <laughs> Yeah, because I back the game and, and the game, the developers to just create proper uh, RNG. Um, so, yeah, I I don't believe that there's any conspiracy, but uh, I Come think this on. is just gross. Come on. You. The only thing that we have going in our favor here is that um, this isn't going to be easy for... Uh, for Devim to get down, right? He's going to pick all three of those birds. He's going to take a grain and a che uh, and uh, cherry, but it's not going to be easy for them to get this down. Um, it's not, but and you, you, but still, <laughs> does it matter if it take like whole round one to get it down? I don't think so. Well, with the hummingbird. So, uh, with the hummingbird, they can potentially looking at extra food from Heartseed as well. So I don't think it's going to be that difficult. Yeah, which is a shame, right? Like, they, they don't know this. Neither player knows this. But that is so advantageous to, um, to Devim to start off with. Yeah. I wonder if Devim is going to pick up the hog. Oh, okay. It's gone. So, really good question for you here. Do you... Put down one of the birds before the wood duck and then one in the grassland, or do you play try and get both of them down before the wood duck and create a really big engine? Um I think you you gotta put the wood duck down and start digging for cards, right? Especially they don't have extra card for tugging right now. So I, I would go for the wood duck first. And that goes I think yeah, go for it. They're gonna. I think. I think he's gonna try and get that, that house finch down straight up. Nah, I think. I think wood duck because they don't have card to tuck. They they specifically pick up that golden eye. I think they want the golden eye, um, which is like mother love say is quite busted here. Well, so why do you think this is busted? And mother love think this is busted? Well, because they. They, they are running a forest engine and then they have all the cavity nests so um, the golden eye is going to be nice for example look at second end of round goes here they might not even have to lay eggs um, that many times to, to win the second end of round goes if they have the golden eye oh look like you might be right after all so the reason I, I thought this was going to happen is because I think that he's going to expect another cherry from the hummingbird, which is going to make it even easier to get that wood down, wood duck down pretty quickly afterwards. But I just don't understand because if if they play the house finch, which card are they going to tuck? Uh, I don't think they are. Just like they didn't last time, uh, when when he played the robin first, he didn't tuck a card to get that extra food for the um for the. Wood duck. Then why not you just play? Don't tuck anything to start with. If you don't tuck, why don't you play the wood duck to get to start digging for more cards? I don't know. It's strange. I don't like it. I I I yeah. I I don't know. I I feel like if you have the wood duck down, what if you draw like the kill deer? Then you can still pivot to grassland, and then. And then you have all this tugging bear that set up you nicely for the grassland. So, I don't. I, I think the the likelihood of them drawing a Kildare or uh, Franklin Skull is still pretty, pretty luck. Um, so I don't think that's going to happen. There you go. There's the cherry. They pick up the grain that's there, and they've already got the food for the wood duck. Like this is what I'm expecting. Skip. Yeah. That's that's what I would have done as well. And but again, them to do as soon as if they're gonna skip this anyway, like if they had the wood duck down, they would have have one extra card in hand at this point. So, yeah, but the 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 tucking bird before the wood duck is so much more powerful. Just like we saw last time, when you get the two cards, you can tuck one, then discard one. It works so much better than having the tucking card after the wood duck. Yeah, I can see it, but all right, fine. Is is a is a personal taste kind of thing. I I I I mean I I think that the argument is 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 reasonable. 
All right, I mean, Harsey is going with a good tempo here. They already have four birds down, and mm. but they definitely know it's what's true. up. They definitely know what's up when they see the house finch in the forest. So, hundred percent, hundred percent. The interesting thing is this: uh, this swift, but they're in a great spot to actually win this first end of round goal, which is a difficult one to win here. Mm -hmm. Get rid of that pelican. Happy days, you know? Yeah. I mean, Harsey gotta be looking at winning most of the end of round goals to, um, to have a chance here. And yeah, I yep. mean... Oh, look at this. Oh my god. You just said that they might pull over goal and then they and I said it was unlikely and then bang, they do it. What this did I gross. say? What did I say? Oh, no, you see? No. They, they don't want it. Um... I Why? I think it was still yeah I I would have kept the goal to be honest because it gives you the option to pivot to grassland yeah that's that's wild to me that's wild but hey I I, I want to Vim making mistakes I I I want Hutsey to pull this out and say take that you and your wood duck Simon yeah I I don't know if it was a mistake but it was an interesting yeah choice. We'll see how that pan out. All right, do you we have? What? I have a conspiracy theory. What? All right. That when then when Devin makes a mistake, you call it interesting. You don't even call it a mistake because you're on his side. No, you're I'm not. not. Even but look at you. this! Look at this! <gasps> the mockingbird? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I know. This is pretty amazing for him. Like the the fact that he can now get four cards and then um Yeah, it's it's pretty pretty special here for this forest engine he's generating. Yeah. It's busted. All he needs now is like a shipping sparrow or a, a um pilloted woodpecker. Yeah. This this okay, well again, judging on heart seat position here, again they're set up they are ahead, they have four birds down. I think what's gonna really bring them on par with um, the Vim here is a kill deer. I think that's their chance here. If they have a kill deer, yeah, they have a good chance. Agreed, agreed. Um, so uh, we've got a challenge for you. Mm -hmm. You can't say pivot for the rest of the match. Why? Ah, it's just the chat. Oh, where I'm staying connected to the chat. So why can I say pivot? It's a little challenge. <laughs> Uh, apparently, you, you say pivot too often. <gasps> I mean, it's a little bit of feedback. That's the game. You you gotta be flexible and pivot. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even get out of the first round. All right, what what do we have here? Who's Challenge choice? Denied, I think. All right, we have we have Devim going. Simon's and... first. Okay. Titmouse. <sighs> Titmouse. Mockingbird, Swallow. I think they're going for full forest. It's, it's too tempting not yeah, to. Not forest. Yep. And I, I think... No, they ignored it. Oh, they might still tuck it and try and pick it up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, there you go. I think Harsey probably can use that yellow throat, right? Especially with their Swift there. So... Agreed. Agreed. And and it, and it helps them for that that third end of round as well. Yep. All right. Let's see what's going on. All right. Yeah, they definitely need that yellow throat. Oh, that J. I don't know. Do they really need that J? I I, I don't like the J pickup personally. Um, yeah. Three points for two food, and they have a hummingbird. Yeah, just pick up the yellow throat, pick up a random card, get their cherry, and play the yellow throat. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe even don't pick up a second card. Maybe don't even discard the egg. Save the egg. Just get the yellow throat down, and then go for it. Mm hmm. What do you think about that? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I like it. Um, oh, look like they're, they're going for the J here. 
Ooh, I, I think the bunting is nice here because the bird feeder is gonna get reroll quite a bit. So it, the bunting is gonna come in handy for late game when um, Heartseed don't want to go to the forest for food. Yeah. And the bunting is good for third end of round go, so. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, but again, the, the Golden Eye is down, so Heartseat Grassland Engine take another hit, so Yeah. But if you can if you can maximize it where you're getting a lot of points out of it, you, you can kinda of start ignoring that a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, the Vim is really going for the slow burn here, so they have a lot of engine bird, but um, without the eggs, they can play them efficiently. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we've had a call from uh, Mark Litton. Um, I, that's not their name, but that's the way I'm pronouncing it. Um, <laughs> is they calling a 30 point margin already? Wow, bowl. Mm. That cuckoo does nothing considering that the Devim is not going to go to the grasslands very often at all. Yeah. Hersey definitely struggling a little bit here with this card draw. And Pick up the Bunting. Yeah, I would take no. the Bunting. Nice. I mean, here's the thing. If you look Scott. if you if you look at what cards has shown up, like most most of the tuck and draw already gone. Like we have the house finch gone, swallow gone, so Harsey can hope for maybe the, the bond swallow. Um so there's not many options for Heartseed Grassland here. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, this is interesting. Alright. This is like the complete opposite of game one. So they decided to go with the swallow in the grassland here. All right. Yeah. That it, it it just so interesting because like looking at the hand like you would think like oh they're going full in with the with with the forest maybe they're thinking about the end of round go so um I mean I'm not against it like if they set up the grassland here it's still gonna be pretty good but that house finch now looks silly. Did you see what was just revealed? What was that? Oh, purple the purple Martin. The purple Martin. Whose choice? Whose do you think? Heart seat. Oh no. No, no one, no one other than the luckiest man in the world. Oh yeah, this is Devin. this is busted now. Like, yeah, in in two game they drew like what combined like six or eight like tuck and draw birds. That's crazy. Just a little shout out um, for the the tournament Discord here. We've got Nico nineteen sixty eight currently looking for an opponent. If anyone does want a game, I mean, look at the Vim here, and and someone someone mentioned it in the chat. Like you know, the Vim should ha should have kept the should have kept the Franklin's goal. Then they 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 could have pivoted to Grassland already. Yeah, agreed. And there goes the Titmouse, uh, and I think they're going to go Martin. Mockingbird in the grassland or just go crazy. Yep, again. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a live meme here. The Vim is going with I don't want to play with Forest anymore. Yeah, look, I, I'd have to agree with Mark again here that the Heart Seat does have a tendency to pick up probably a couple too many cards um, for their ability to what they're actually gonna get down. But um, I mean, I I don't blame Heartseed though. Here's the thing: they know they are kind of in trouble, and they don't have good cards to play in hand. And sometimes I tend to go with the gamble as well, if that's the case. And second, they also have the Swift to tuck all the cards, so um, I I think it's a reasonable gamble. Um, they're really digging for that card that's gonna turn their game around, but just unfortunately, it's not showing up. Um, 
Yeah. I probably would have ditched the Blue Jay there rather than the... But I'm not 100% sure where uh, Heartseed is going with this one, to be honest. What his plan is. Yeah, it's going to be a rough one. On the other hand, the, the Vim pretty much have a 7-point engine guarantee already. This is this is quite rough, but on the other hand, do you want to give a shout out to our latest team tournament? Mm. Tell us a little bit more about the, it. Yeah, yeah, sure. So we've got the Toko Tukan Triple Team Tournament. Um, bit of a alliteration there with some T's, but the. The tournament's based on it was randomized with three different players based off different categories from the elo ranking so we had a uh, tier a person a tier b person and a tier c and you get teamed up against another team and everyone's got to play everyone and it's the a best of nine out of that so uh it's been really good so far uh, my team is up against it where we're currently four two down we, we need to win all three of our last three games to, to get Ooh. through but we're, we're not giving up just yet we are not giving up just yet. Yeah, it's everyone's game. But I have to mention, I, I think Heartseed team in that tournament is going very strong. I think they already got four games, four wins. That's and they because they're versing, they're, they're, they're versing us. So, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I sorry. I don't mean to <laughs> just throw wow. shade on you. Wow. I totally forgot I that. Yeah, but they they, they only need one game to 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 get through but like i say it's everyone's game so i i, I hope i wish you all the best your team i, I don't think you do i i think that's a little bit of sarcasm there i i, uh, I just feel like heartseat need a little bit of you know pick me up at this point if if they're like re-watching this oh look at this is okay, it raven. raven raven just when you get down a four bird forest engine there you go yeah that <laughs> there you go here's a raven that that blue jay was not that great to begin with and now they got the raven i mean the the blue jay is still gonna help them to win the third end of round go but yeah they gotta pick up the raven here in pivot um especially they have the great egress so they they can potentially make a good use of it yeah yeah for sure for sure they're debating but yeah I, I, I think that's, for me, I would definitely go with the Raven. They have a lot of double bird. They have the blue bird, they have the egret. So I think the Raven make a lot of sense. But of yeah, course, definitely, definitely. Of course, they are worried about the golden eye as well. Um, but, you know, gotta take what you have. Apparently not. Oh, there you go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, they can put so, Yep. I don't know, go for it. I, I I think they can have the Raven and then they also have the Bluebird and the Predator, so at least that's a you know four or five points engine. Um oh look at this. Kill deer. Kill deer. So who else? Wait, wait a second. Harsey did not look at the tray. Harsey I think Hardsey, no. they, they forgot to look at the no, tray. Hardsey. I think probably dejected just playing through trying to get this game over and done with and he leaves the kill deer they they went too far too fast and forgot to look at the tray i think because the kill deer they can play it with the blue bird so it's double and then they can they can really maximize their swift with that kill deer here we go wait what wow they i don't pick it up either I, I don't know. Maybe it is slow as well because kill deer and all right. Maybe how's this? Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I don't get this. I think I think I think Harsey can still use the kill deer because they still need a they big white throw to swift. Yeah, they they still need a big bird to play with um, the egret there, or maybe they're settled with the egret and um, Wilson snipe or something. A lot of people in the chat are saying it's too late for the kill deer. I, I, I think the start of the third round is not too late when they both have setups the way that they do. 
Um, because so. I I think if if it just kill deer alone, it might be late. But because they can play it with blue birds, so is you know you play double bird, um, it it it's still worth it. I think, but yeah. I think it's also just really nice with that, especially for um, Heartsea, just with that white throated swift. Yeah. So, I, I I would have taken. I mean, when you don't take it in the first couple, I think it, it potentially is too late now. But right at that start, those first two turns of that round, I I, I would have picked it up. Yeah. If they have the kill deer and the predator in the grassland, that's like four, five. Yeah, it's not a great engine after you count for everything. Maybe like a seven, six points at most. You're also giving eggs to the vim, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, and and um, uh, Flan made a good point, and which is I think what you were trying to say to earlier with um the raven and the the kill deer would just be w so good together because at the end of the day Heartsea doesn't have great birds down like they've got the they've got the egret to play but you'd want it better bird to play with it some just really point birds and that, that kill deer would give you the advantage of really cycling through to find those big birds yeah okay I, I'm a little bit surprised why why Devim hasn't played their their Martin do they think it's too yeah, slow yeah agreed that was weird. Well, I, I expected them to get down uh, um, their uh, their second bird there, the one that's going to give them the slug, the flycatcher, and then then play the mutton. But, yeah, I, I'm surprised as well that it hasn't got, gotten down. Yeah, I... But it, you really want to get that fourth bird down as quickly as possible to maximize the egg draw, right? Yeah, probably something we're missing here, so... Yeah, it doesn't make sense that you don't play the Martin. Um, all right, still no kill deer. All right, they're really... See, these are just wasted turns now. If you had picked up the kill deer, you wouldn't have needed to do this at all. You could just laid eggs the whole time. Yeah, I mean, they, they needed... They, they could have used this turn to pick up the kill deer, I guess. Um, but yeah, again, they, they did not draw like the big point birds that they wanted. I think at least having the kill deer in hand give you that option. Um, but yeah, that was interesting. Yeah, again, like why did... Yeah, I guess they are playing the Martin now. It was interesting they played yeah. a spoon bill. I guess they were just curious to see what they have for bonus card. Yeah, potentially. Potentially. I still think I preferred... Um, the flycatcher going down first just to make sure that Simon had the food for it um, to then get the free slug to then lay the uh, Martin is the way that I would have structured that mm -hmm. yeah that that can work too um, the, the crane goes downhill right I don't know even that is I think based on the food look like they're thinking about the bunting. Um, I think Ooh, I don't like that at all. Because I, I is that for end of round go here? But do they need the bunting to win end of round go? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean, it looks like they're they're, they're also going to be playing the egret at some point and, and trying to get four cards out of their bonus card. So it'll be an eight point bonus card, but it's still not going to be enough. Yeah. It is, it is quite unfortunate, especially with that golden eye. Um, Hersey engine is just not there. Yeah. Compared to the seven points things that already set up I here. Just, I don't understand the play of the bunting when you've got the raven to get whatever food you want. Yeah. I, I, I would have at least gone with the predator, so because that at least give you points. Um, looks like they are going to try to get the um, the crane down, maybe. But once you have the crane down, you're not going to get enough food to play your egret um, because the the food game is just so slow. 
Uh, I don't think so. Like, all you needed, like, if you got the crane down, you could gain a, a grain and one of the food you need each turn. Mm -hmm. And they still had six turns left. So you do that five times, you've already got the food for um, both of the water birds that they can do down there with it. Mm -hmm. um, and then and then still have a turn to play it. So it it, it doesn't kill complete your, your food drawer. And they, they end up tucking 12 cards through it and it becomes a little bit better. Yeah. I think the crane's well too late now. Hmm. Yeah, but but Harsley doesn't really have you know much other options to be honest. So yeah, I know. All right. At least Harsley is winning the end of round goals here, so that can bring it closer. Yeah, Devim got that second one, which was quite important for them to end up only losing um, like six points and not not the full twelve. Yeah. Unfortunately, I really don't see this being a close game again. I, I um, which is really unfortunate for our yeah our friend Heart Suit here. It is it is pretty crushing. I mean. I, I I know it firsthand <laughs> in this tournament actually. <laughs> Losing to two OP bird mm -hmm. game is pretty hard not to be salty <laughs> afterwards. Yeah, yeah. But you just you just got outplayed by G Truda. You don't 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 get all salty on it. You know? Yeah. Just, it just happened. I mean I I was salty but then I, I, I thought about it be like, you know, they there were definitely a game where I was crushing other people with insane luck so i i think it balanced out um what do you yeah. mean a game that's literally what happened for the first six months of the server all right a few games a game all right start to, to balance that out my friend stop spreading the rumors and conspiracy here come on no consp this is not conspiracy this is fact conspiracy you, you like is God, my specialty conspiracy. so stop it all right <laughs> bonus card coming Let's see. This is interesting. What do they have? Um, fishery fishery manager. manager. All right, nice. All right, they're out of food, so they, they can't play any more bird. They're just going grassland for the last three rounds here. Um, all right, let's see. Do we have an update for the bingo, maybe? Is bingo active? Yeah, I, I, I feel like, um, sorry, you go bingo, bingo, what's happening with bingo, bingo? Bingo is, bingo is kind of slow for this game, we only have four, four bingo, four, four square, and again, you say a bird Ding, name wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 100%, 100%. I don't know which I one again, I mean, the it's probably the same bird, it's probably the woodpecker again. Yeah, the vim is... The Vim is say wrong, that's gonna be always on when we have game against the Vim. <laughs> no one's gonna yeah. get it right. Um no, no. Yeah. Alright. However, mm -hmm. Mark did say that I pronounced their name ten out of ten, like pr pronunciation got it correct, so I was I was happy with that. Yeah, nice. Alright, going to end game here. Should be no surprise. What do you think? Last game we we had a thir 28 points margin. So what do you think about this game? Uh, is it is it still gonna be more than 20? 20? Yeah. Maybe 20 still. It's rough. Yeah, I think that. I'm I'm interested to see what um, happens here because I feel like Heartseed now doesn't have the ability to lay um, lay these two birds, lay the Wilson Snipe with the Great Egret. They they need to do something a little bit different here. Yeah, um, because they they will be missing out on the Swift if if they play. Why the are they? Why are they discarding the slug? They need that slug. I don't think they are going for that double play. But I think double play is worth it for the end of round go here. Um, 
end of round goal ecologist so that's that's a six that's in like 19 point play minus three eggs so that's a 16 point play like it is a hundred percent worth it yeah and again it is 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 this situation where i think kill deer would have been nice you know imagine substituting that bunting with kill deer um then they wouldn't they wouldn't have to miss out on the points for the swift yeah agreed and but also like if you had just got the crane down you would have had all that extra food instead of what the bunting was as well mm -hmm. even ignoring the kill deer but like i think the the kill deer would have just powered that that swift yeah so i'm glad they they end up going back and thinking through and and, and keeping that slug yeah yeah, it's a pretty big points play at the end for hard seat here with the ecologist and end of round go. So, um, it's gonna. It, I I, again, I I call it for nineties last game. It was pretty close. Um, yeah, I think pretty good chance hard seat is gonna make it into the nineties this game. You said that last time, and he he fell a bit short. I know, but this looks pretty good. And and look at this, like he, he did not waste any of the card that he drew, so it worked out quite nicely. Yeah, it did. It did. Yeah. So like I say, you know, when you're behind, it's not a bad idea to, to, to kind of start digging. Um if of course given that you have a you know, backup plan to how to spend all those cards, in this case, Heart Seat has the swift, so Yeah. All right, second to last turn here. So, um, would you like to tell everyone what Heartseed's nickname is in the server? All right, are we ready for ASMR time? Re yes, we're always ready. I I can't do it. How how do you do it? Is it? Re -re? <laughs> what was that? Re -re? <laughs> I learned it from a video. I don't know. <laughs> did did I did I do better with the woo woo or the vim? I think the chat can be the judge. <laughs> You're gonna break the stream. You're gonna break the stream. All right. Oh, oh man. What do we oh. have here? Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> it was funny though. I know. We need this. I enjoyed it. We need to cheer. We we need to cheer. Woo woo. <laughs> we need to cheer. Woo woo up. <laughs> yeah, we gotta do something. We gotta wait. All right, let's let's see. All right, big points play coming. <laughs> Here we go. All right. If 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 Harsey can make it into the 90s, I think they should be proud. So Very good game for Harsey. It's again one of those games that's that's not much you can do when your opponent just keep drawing all this tier A and birds that work for their engine. That's wingspan. Yeah. Yeah. Luckbox Simon. Yeah. Comes in. This is what it was like versing you for so long. This is how. This all right. Is how it actually felt. Shh. Shut. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, the Vim is gonna be so happy. This got caught on stream as well i mean look at hard seat breaking a hundred points here big yeah, win very impressive. very impressive yeah i would say both of them are winners but devim is the winner winner here <laughs> yeah yeah let's 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 bring them back in and, and see if they want to say anything yeah um let me just unmute them welcome back welcome back well played, both of you. Yeah, con did you. Did you have anything that you wanted to to add or or to say? 
Hot seat or, or Simon? Don't be shy, Simon. All right, in case they have nothing to say, I'm going to wrap this up by saying, well, good game. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. We're going to have more streaming this in a few hours yep. and this weekend. And yeah, stay tuned. Yeah, definitely. We're going to have another stream in about an hour slash an hour and a half. Um, and it'll be another great one that we are going to have Flan and, and uh, Captain Awesome making their, their commentary debut as a bit of a fill-in. Um, considering we have uh, a few people away and and uh, and Elsie off with COVID, so um, congratulations to them to to make their debut. Yeah, absolutely, it'll be exciting. All right, um, I think we're gonna bring the chat back to the server and wrap this up again. Thank you, Chop, for doing this um, with me today. It was lots of fun, as always. It was. It was. Um, do you want to give the um, the people back at home one final uwu. Oh, okay. Let me try it for real this time. Woo woo. <laughs> Did I get it, it was right? Better. It was better. <laughs> woo woo. All right. That concludes it. All right. Who's this? Hello. Oh, I didn't realize I was muted too. Oops. Hey. Can you guys see me? Yeah, yeah. We can hear you. We can see nice. you, but we can't hear you. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, Simon. Yeah, Thanks. good game. Congrats. Two pretty sick games with Wood Duck. Yeah, that's yeah. really not yeah. much How you can do. You draw do... your favorite bird with yeah. another talking bird in both in the first five cards both times. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you. Are you gonna share your <laughs> cheating machine or something? <laughs> yeah. All right, I should say that live. <laughs> But I was I was actually quite confused what to do with that uh, second game. Oh, I'm sure you were and confused. <laughs> yeah, it must be real hard. So confusing. Both games. Yeah, but I mean, you could have gone uh, like a woodland engine with the mockingbird and and the swallow, but uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's when yeah. the egg egg wrote. No, I can understand that. Heartseed, what do you think? You did, you did really well to score 100 in that game, Heartseed. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think whenever... I think... I haven't played Simon that many times, but I think because I've played him so few times, and I remember in my mind that he always gets wood duck <laughs> when I play him. So it's like... Yeah. There are more games where he gets wood duck when he doesn't when I play him, so it's kind of funny. But... Yeah, uh, it is. Simon does that to people. Yeah, but I thought, I don't know, I thought the start of the game was okay. Yeah, and definitely. when I picked up the Great Egret, I thought like, oh, at least I can ambush him at the end. Take that end of round goal. Um, yeah. The only you think about uh, picking up the kill deer in round three? Yeah, I thought about it, but then I... Talking cause, I thought about it because it's like, oh, this could help my Verded Swift. And then I wouldn't have yep. to go back. But then I just thought, you know, it's better just to pick up cards once than to spend a turn playing the kill deer. So, and I, I liked the indigo bunting better anyway. It worked better with, uh, like, maxing out my food stuff without having to rely on the raven too too much. So, yeah, I, I think the the only uh like divergence point, like I guess there are two divergence points. There was one where it's like. Oh, do I extend my forest uh, using the blue jay? I thought that was okay to do because I had a uh, yellow throat. Uh, I don't know. Um, and like, it wasn't terrible because I had ecologist too. It's just they're not the greatest cards for it. Um, and the other one was the common raven. I wasn't sure if I should go for it, but I just thought it's probably better to do that. So that's what I did. Did you get the crane later? I, I got, I think I got the crane in my last draw, yeah. yeah so I was okay. pretty lucky. Got me a little little scared. <laughs> no, I, I think I messed up with a crane. I think I... I mean, I don't know if I could have gotten one more point if I played it a turn later. No, no, I couldn't have. So I guess mm. it was fine. Yeah. Yeah, good and game. All right, we're going to wrap this up. Well, well played. Congrats to Devim. And yeah. congrats. Thanks. Good luck with the rest of your tournament. Thank you. Not too much luck, though. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> all right. Yeah, I I used it all. I think <laughs> two yeah, games yeah. for sure. All right. Yeah, yeah. You definitely had um, Tay Ray on your side, giving you some luck there that, from their <laughs> masses of stores. <laughs> Maybe. All right. I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>